sale of recreational marijuana began Monday here in California, and we've seen lines getting into local dispensaries. But is the pot industry now under threat from the federal government? Yesterday, Attorney General Jeff Sessions repealed a policy that kept federal prosecutors from pursuing marijuana cases in states where the drug is legal. And today we're finding out how some state lawmakers are fighting back. Joining us now is State Assemblyman Reggie Jones-Sawyer. His district includes much of South Los Angeles. And thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure to be with you. Very complicated situation here. But Assemblyman, you have a bill in the state legislature right now that will protect those selling marijuana legally. And some people are comparing it to the sanctuary state legislation for immigrants. Can you explain this bill for us? Well, I, I looked at it more as a, as a business and the medical use of it. Um, when I heard that Jeff Sessions, when he got elected uh, or appointed as attorney general, um, the first thing he talked about was going after the states that had legalized uh, cannabis. The Cole memo, uh, which Obama administration created, really just said if you have a structured regulatory system and in your state, that the federal government would not bother you. By him rescinding that, that calls into question most of the uh, states that have it. Um, we have a very robust system. We went through where in 2000, uh, in 1995, we voted medical marijuana. I will help write the, the medical marijuana laws. Um, we used that to base the Proposition 215, and then we had Proposition 64, and now January 1, we have the rules and regulations. So we've had an intense investigation on this. And I think, not I think, I know we have some of the best cannabis laws in the country. And so we should not be inhibited from doing what the California taxpayers have voted for, by overwhelmingly voted for. And so we should continue um, to keep that industry a multi-billion dollar industry that will help California in more ways it, than you can imagine. Is that how you view this? Is it because of the money that will come in or is this simply a will of the people? Why is this important? for marijuana to remain available in California. So it's not only the, the will of the people, it's not only that this is a cannabis industry that will help with taxpayers and bringing in more revenue, but the medical uses, veterans with PTSD, um, seniors who have aging problems, um, people who have cancer. There's been great um, uh, impact on people who have that. I don't want that to go away. And we're at the threshold of moving forward with, with cannabis in a way that um, a lot of us don't even imagine could happen. So let's do that. Yeah. And are you getting any pushback from local law enforcement? Uh, and I have. And in my bill, I believe we have worked real hard to ensure that law enforcement can work with that. For example, um, you can, with a, a, a search warrant, um, go in or court order, go into a legal state and local cannabis institution, if you think that establishment is doing something illegal, just like any business, you can go in there with the help of, of the federal law enforcement, go in there and, and seize assets and things of that nature. In addition, um, this thing has moved from the assembly, is now on the Senate floor. I put in um, provisions so that there's clarity, so that if you're an illegal, for example, there's 134 uh, legal marijuana shops in LA, but it's 1,400 illegal. Yeah. Wow. Why are we wasting our time on 130 it's a tough, it's something? It's a tough issue, and, and we haven't even uh, don't have time to get into the money uh, because right. banks can't deal in in, right. in this still. And so, Assemblyman, we, we appreciate your time. I know it's a complicated issue. That yes, uh, we'll see how you're. I going. think we need and a whole half you. hour for this. Yes, topic. and I thank you for bringing <laughs> me on, letting voters know what's going on. Yeah, yeah we do. Uh, I want to tell you we have numerous stories on our website about the new marijuana policy and applications for licenses. To see them, just head uh, to abc7.com for more coverage. Thanks again. For yes, right. thank you so thank much you for both. joining us. We thank appreciate you. that.